Hey, good morning, good morning. It is Tammy Tolly from It's Scrabbicated, where we do galvanized steel home decor. I'm in this really awesome porch sign. It's called Porch Candy, too. Oh my goodness. So I have to create a look, a couple cows this morning, our new Highland cow. And, um, sorry to bounce you around a little bit. So this is our brand new Highland cow shape. Isn't she so cute? I love her. And so, since I was going live, I thought I would show you kind of how to do the hair on her. It took me a couple of tries to kind of get that where it looked like it was actually hair on the cow versus just like some kind of crazy streaks. So um, here's a smaller version. This is the one that is in the brand new Wipe Your Hooves. So I thought, um, since I had to do these, I would just pop on live um, and kind of go through the whole, uh, how you make the, how, how I did the cow hair, which is so fun because it's layering and a bunch of different colors and whatnot. So I am going to, start with the nose and I just took our beige color which is the color I so I just painted it beige and um I just painted it beige and then the lighter color which I'm going to use for the snout I kind of streaked through there now I um while I can paint I don't have god-given talent for being able to just freehand everything. So we use a bunch of stencils and whatnot. If you've ever, if you ever workshopped with us in the past, you know that. So I used my little um, stencil for her snout and traced that on there. And now I am just going to use, this is just like a big round brush. It carries quite a bit of paint. I am just going to paint her little snout in. And I wanna put her snout on first because I want her hair to kind of cover her snout. You know how the Highland cows work. Morning, Miss Jan, how the heck are you? Yeah, I thought, well, I'm glad to paint these cows. I might as well come live and maybe this is a, if you guys are DIYers and whatnot, might be a paint technique that you can use. Now, you know my style is a little bit rustic, so I'm not freaking out about getting everything covered. I'm going to grab just a little titch of a lightened up pink and I'm going to run it right across the top there and then kind of blend it in. My paint is still wet, so the blending um, works pretty good. You can add more or less just so she, um, you know, just gives it a little depth, a little dimension. Good morning, Crystal. We're just painting the Highland cow. I um, probably should put what I'm making in the view. How do we do that? I gotta figure out where to put her so I don't knock her over. This is just the 24 inch one. We had a couple orders come in and I made two originally, but I needed a couple more. So I don't really like that I had it really pink. It wasn't really feeling very blendy. So I just grabbed a bit more of my beige color. So here's where I'm at, and I think it looks pretty good. Can you see that? So it looks pretty good. I like it. All right, now, when I paint, I use all the same brush. All the same brush. So I am going to put it in a little bit of water. I just happen to like this brush for the, um, let's look at it on the bigger one, for these big brush strokes, okay? So, now, if I make it through this with some, without knocking something over and whatnot, that will be a miracle. I'm going to start with my darkest color, which is just our regular brown. And I am just going to swoosh these on here, okay? I'm going to kind of follow the way the, ha the cow's hair goes, but I'm really just making big, long, kind of swoopy, almost like wise. just all the way around. And the reason I wanted to get her nose on there first is because I want the um, hair, if you will, to kind of um, swoop over. And we're just making 
Like I said, wise is the best way to put it. I know it looks kind of a little bit funky right now. See there for her ear, I just follow the curve. Oh, I'm gonna push that over. See how I did that? Just following the curve. I'm gonna do the same thing kind of down her little precious face. and then kind of over her nose a little bit. Now, I've put all these Y's on here. Now I can kind of come back and put in just ones that go a single direction. But remember, I'm gonna put like four or five different colors on here. We're gonna layer her up. Yeah, good morning, Joey. We're painting a cow. How are you? I miss your precious face. Um. All right, so that's what I got for the brown, okay? It looks kind of like, you're like, okay, that was, looks kind of blah. But as we continue to build this, it's gonna be fabulous. So the next color I'm gonna use, it's kind of a caramel color. So what I did is I took our beige, our straight beige, and I added a little orange to it. So know this, if you order a cow, because I'm mixing the colors, we try not to do that. But I don't wanna order gallons of paint um, of our colors that we don't use very often. So this is kind of like a caramel color and it'll be really close. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm not even gonna be worrying about is my brown dry because it will kind of come, it's okay if it kind of, you know, I don't wanna say smear, blends. If it kind of blends it together because we're just layering her up. And again, exactly the same thing. Just layering her on. Again, I'm gonna follow, oh, let me push this over so you can see how I do that. Following the curve of the metal. Uh, the first one I did, uh, it was all right. But then I'm like, okay, we got, I gotta figure out how to make this look like, you know, Kylie and house look like really, their hair's long. Good morning. I believe it said, no, let me see your note, Marcy. It said, no crown. What that means is that the crown isn't a separate piece. Marcy, sorry for the confusion there. So like this is the Highland cow that is in the porch candy design. So her crown is painted on. Her crown is separate. It's 3D for the 24s and the 36s, okay? So sorry about that. Yeah, she does have a flower crown, um, just not separate. So hope that's helpful. Sorry about that. Yes, you could do this, Melissa. It's so simple. I mean, really, it's just whoop, whoop, whoop. You're just making wise. Just making wise. That's it. I mean, I don't know. Just like wise. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You know, it's practice um, somewhere first. You know, like on a piece of cardboard or whatnot. A round brush, whether regardless of thickness, when I do the smaller ones, I obviously use, um, is it sold separately? Is what sold separately? The crown? Um, when you order, no, the crown isn't sold separately. When you order the 24 inch cow, it comes with the crown and it's magneted, magneted on, um, and it, um, it's just magneted on there. I hope that answers your question. If not, ask me again and I'll tell you. All right, so now I'm gonna use this same color. So really I'm going from darker to lighter, right? Um, and I'm gonna use the same color that I used for the snout and I'm doing the exact same thing. Can you see how she's kind of starting to come together here as we're layering all these different colors on? I don't know what breed of cow this is. This is the it's scrapicated breed because I've never ever seen a Highland cow with teal highlights. But you know, our cow has teal highlights because that's how we roll. A little bit of whimsy, right? Oh, 
I kind of lost my place, which is just totally fine. You cannot, I'm telling y'all, cannot mess this up. Cannot, cannot. And we do sell the bare metal, um, the bare metal for her. If you order the 24 inch or 36 inch, you'll get a separate crown. If you, um, I'm just looking, I can't look and talk at the same time. Kind of where do I feel like I need some additional whoops in there. All right, we're gonna pause and take a look and see how she's coming together. Look at that. Is that so cute? So cute. I love her. She's so cute. And she's super fun to make. It's just like such a release. All right, so guess what color I'm gonna use now. I'm gonna just use our creamy white. And again, same thing. I am using just a little bit lighter touch here only because um, now I'm really kind of feeling like I'm into um, accenting. And where you're gonna see me do the same thing when I bring the black in. And I'm just really like kind of looking and filling in spaces where I feel like she just needs just a little oomph. So I'm gonna use a little less cream, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And the super awesome thing about it is every single one of these kind of comes out a little bit different. When we get done with this one, um, I'll compare her back to one of the first ones I did. I don't know if I'm getting better at it or worse at it. <laughs> But you know, the brush goes where the brush goes. Oh, I think I do need a little cream right there. The brush goes where the brush goes. So they don't all come out exactly the same, but I think that's really kind of the beauty of it. All right, so now I'm gonna do the black and I'm gonna use even less black than I did cream. You can see my, how far I'm spacing it out is, hopefully you can see, how far I'm kind of spacing it out is a lot wider than what I did initially when I first started making her. And then I'm just gonna kind of look and see, okay, where could she use Kind of a little, now I do go all the way to the top of her head only because her, her crown is going to cover that, but we don't want her to look like, um, you know, she got a bad haircut. <laughs> all right. Oh, let's see. All right. That's good. Now I'm going to brush in, I think, um, a little bit of teal. I don't know what I did. Probably hit it with my arm. I smudged. I smudged one of her, one of her beautiful little hairs right there. But that's kind of the beauty of this technique. You're just never gonna know that. All right, let's take a look and see what she's looking like. Adorbs. All right, now let's add in her teal, which is my favorite part. Um, my paper towel is very silken wet at this point. Very soaking wet. All right, and I'm just gonna brush off a lot of that teal because these are really teal highlights. We just want a little bit of teal just to add that whimsy and that interest. Y'all don't have never seen a cow with teal highlights, have you? All right, I think she's done. I think she's done. What do you think? Do you think she needs any more colors? I don't, I think she, okay. So now here's my point. You see, I'm gonna wait and take, until I get them all done and then I will take a picture. But because I'm just kind of going where the brush goes, and again, I might be getting better at it or worse at it. Will acrylic paints work? Absolutely, Karen. Um, we use latex, but I buy paint by the gallon from Sherwin-Williams. But absolutely, 
just your regular acrylic craft paints. I don't know if we have any. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, like folk art, there's one. Um, folk art, deco art, apple barrel, any of those. If you're, you, and you always want a clear coat too. One of the things about acrylic paints is um, the pigments. If they're catching lots of sun, just wanna be sure you clear coat to help protect it from the UV. But absolutely, still water-based paint and it will glide on just exactly the same way. All right, so um, let's see what time it is. I, mean, I wanted to be done by 10. What do you guys want, you want me to? Should we keep going with her? I won't get her crown done for sure, but I can always do the crown as a separate thing. And then the other question is, we can put the stencils that I use, cause y'all, I'm not a, you know, a freehander of the art. I just am not in some cases. Like I need, I couldn't make this thing exactly the same every single time, her, talking about her snout. But we can certainly put up a free PDF of her snout and the stencils that I use for her crown. So while we do this, let's finish the cow. And then um, maybe tomorrow I'll go live and we'll do her, um, her crown. All right, so the next thing I need is, yeah, I have it right, to figure out, as you can see, this was the stencil and then I got it a little bigger. So she got a little bigger nose, it's fine. She's still super cute. I need to put on here her little um, nostrils. I'm at that point in life where I actually up close it can see a lot better without my glasses. So all I did was use my little stencil to trace those on. Uh, I don't love that pasta pin. This is a um, this is a sharpie, an oil based sharpie. I like the pasta pens are okay. Um, they're okay. Um, I just kind of like my black and white or the, the black and white oil-based Sharpies the best. All right, and then I'm gonna put on her little mouth and I'm just gonna really follow this curve right here with my paint pen. Boom. Oh my gosh, is she so cute? She's so cute. All right, and then another layer of texture that we're gonna add on here is um, some, I don't even know what to call it. Let me grab a couple brushes though, and then we can figure out what we should call it. I don't wanna call it dirt. Like, I'm not sure I want it to look like dirt, but it's just like some dry brush detailing. So I used my little bitty chip brush, and then I kind of bounced it off. Now I'm gonna bounce it kind of all over her. Um, let me do it and then I'll, sh I'll do it on one side and then you can see the difference of how much texture it kind of adds to, to her. I'll put, put a little bit on her snout and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the cream. Again, I want offload because I don't want, I just want it to be I don't want it to be like a big glob. So that's why I'm offloading. When I when we do the flowers, and we can do the I'll do the I'll plan to do the flowers tomorrow. I think there's a question I gotta put my glasses back on. Alright, you see the difference between the two sides? It just adds a little more texture, a little more oomph. And um, let me put my glasses on because I think there's a question. When, no, it does not, Karen, and there, it used to. Unfortunately, it does not. And the reason for that is there is a supply issue, um, a su supply chain issue for spray paint. I can absolutely show you what to look for. I have the best luck at Menards, Lowe's, and Walmart. Sometimes I have to go all three places to just get what we need for the week. So I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be like a, a hoarder of the things. <laughs> um, 
it's just, it, it's, it's getting a little bit better, um, but it's not great out there in this spray paint land. All right, so I'm just finishing up. What do you think we should call this technique? I don't even know. Making her dirty? <laughs> I don't even know what we should call it. Um, hmm. um, Karen, back to your question. We do ask you if you want holes in hanger wire and do provide that galvanized steel wire. We do still do that. Um, so far, I'm gonna knock my feet in. There hasn't been any um, difficulty with getting um, our uh, wire. And we use, and if you're a creative, I would suggest to you, let me grab it, that you go to your local farm store and you get you a, a big old thing. It comes in a quarter mile of um, galvanized steel wire. It's galvanized steel electric fence wire. And this whole thing is like a quarter mile. We might go through maybe three or four of these a year. And it's it's galvanized, it's not gonna rust. And it's only like 20 bucks. It used to be like 16 bucks, but you know, inflation. All right, so let's make us some cow horns. I think I'm gonna go back to my original brush. I need new paper towels. Yeah, if you are just joining, we're just doing a little technique and painting us our new Highland cow. We're gonna paint the cow today, and then we're gonna come back and paint her flower crown um, tomorrow. Probably like the same time, like 9.15, 9.30, but you can always catch the replay. All right, I'm just turning her around. How cute is she coming out? She's coming out super cute. And I'm gonna grab my cream, which is the color I'm using for her horns. And you can, there's a there's a curve right here. Like the end of her, let me stand it up. I'm gonna follow from corner to corner. Whoop, just like that. Now, my paint is still wet up here in her horns and I kinda did that on purpose. So it's going to, I'm going to be pulling the paint kind of up. Look, let's see if you can see. See? So it's not just flat one, co one color. We almost had an accident. Almost had an accident. And then I'm going to put my cream over a little bit more because it's a little more brown than I would like for it to be. And then I can just kind of streak in a little more cream. So her horn over here, probably not gonna be exactly the same color. Let's see what we get. I and mean, that's the exciting part. Yeah, see, it's a little bit more brown. Love it. But I'm gonna pull my cream back in here. Oof, I'm gonna put some of this darker brown over here. I don't want them to look this much different. Uh, what do I need? I need this. Again, I'm just kind of tapping off. So what I'm doing now is pulling that color that pulled so much over here into here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to this one, pulling the color, the darker brown color, um, which I got more of over here. That's kind of blending it in. I got a little crazy right there. Sometimes my brush goes crazy. Couldn't be, couldn't be the person that's working it, could it? Could be. And I'm just gonna continue to kind of blend this until I'm like, yeah, that looks good. All right, I think it does look good. All right, what do you think? All right, let's give her some details. We're gonna do that same kind of, I don't like this cream. Right there, when I held it up, I know you saw it, it was like a pretty uh, defined cream line, which is what I started that horn with, and I didn't really like it. What did I do with, oh, here they are. Look what I do with my um, 
these brushes that we were using to make that extra layer of texture. We never did figure out what we were gonna call that, did we? Because I'm gonna put some of this up here on her horns too. Just kind of everywhere. I guess I threw the other one in the water. I lose my supplies, like a lot. If I had that all the time that I spent looking for things that I have left laying around the shop, I mean, I can't even imagine what I could get done. And I'm gonna add a little bit more in there. All right, now I want a smaller brush, a little bit smaller. Still gonna go with a round though, I think. I know what I'm looking for. I think this guy. All right. Now I'm going to just kind of do a little bit of outlining. We call these swishies, right? She's kind of wide. I don't want her to fall off the table. And I'm just going to kind of define these edges a little bit. I'm just following the edge. I'm going to put just a titch around her little snout. Now around her snout, I'm just using a really light hand because I don't want that to be real defined. Whoop, whoop. Maybe we should call them whoopies. Oh no, that sounds a little too close to something else. Um, but that's kind of how I do it, is whoop, whoop. <laughs> it makes that sound in my head whether I want it to or not. All right, now we're gonna do the exact same thing with our black. My paper towel's over here. Now, I really want this brush to be almost empty before I do this snout because I don't want it to be harsh around her snout. You know, like super defined. I just want it to be just like a little bit defined. I'm concentrating on my edges, sorry. All right, now let me get rid of most of this. All right, y'all, that's it. Our cow, the cow part of our Highland cow is done. What do you think? So fun, super easy. All you do when you make your hair is making wise. Um, we can put up, I'll make a PDF. And we'll put it on our website. Um, I can give you the stencils. Let's grab her crown really quick. Because we'll do her crown. She's going to fall over. Her crown really quick. This is her crown, right? And I actually have stencils for this as well. So I can give you the, the flowers and the snout for the 24-inch er. Um, and then you can just... Print them out on your regular printer and cut them out and use them to make your bare metal. It just makes it so super easy. All right, so this cow belongs to someone. I don't know who, but if you have an order online or if you place an order online with us for Highland Cow, this is likely your cow. So she is um, gonna be readily on the way. And I have another cow that I'm making for um, just to have an inventory. How do you order the cow? Do you order on our website, Carolyn, at scrapicated.com. If you just search cow, you'll get both the completed cow, which comes in four sizes, six inch, 12 inch, 24 and 36. Um, now I just heard you. Oh, and, or, um, it'll also show you the bare metal too. So you can get either, 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 or, either, or. We, because of the holiday, will not cut metal again until next Thursday, the 7th. So what's today? Today's Wednesday, I think. So um, we'll cut metal next Thursday and be ready for pickup, not this weekend, but next weekend for cutting metal. Everybody's just gonna take a few days off, go out of town and whatnot. Oh, there's Miss Elena with the links, and she awesome, she awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna let you go. 
I'm gonna be working curbside pickup here, uh, 10 to two. So if you have an order that's ready for pickup locally, uh, just give it a jingle when you get here. If you need us to put it in a secure pickup shed, just call me or message us or whatever, and uh, we will get that put in there. We know 10 to two doesn't work uh, for everyone to swing over on their lunch hour. Some of y'all need to come after work and whatnot, so we can certainly put it in the shed. All right, so I guess I'll see you back here tomorrow about 9.15, 9.20, and we will make the crown for our cow that's going into inventory, okay? I'll see you guys soon, bye.